Still trying to figure out how to buy tokens such as PLS, PLSX, HEX over on Pulse Chain? Still can't figure it out? <laughs> You're not alone. But in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it really is. Hey, this is Colin. I help beginners in crypto learn how to build real wealth using a macro strategy and building a conviction-based portfolio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a internet money wallet, which is the name of it, and how to actually buy these tokens on Pulse Chain using Liberty Swap Finance. Really easy, really simple, and really cheap and fast to use. So if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. And yeah, if you're not yet subscribed, do that too. But let's get started with the video and show you how to do this. All right, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is over here on this website, we are going to get ourselves the wallet, the internet money wallet. I'm not gonna show you how to go to an exchange and buy crypto uh, you know, from a centralized exchange such as Coinbase or Kraken or Binance or anything like that. I'm gonna assume that you already know how to do that. You already know how to turn your fiat into some sort of crypto on a centralized exchange. Uh, what I want you to do now on that centralized exchange is to send yourself some crypto USDC, preferably the best thing. You're gonna to wanna to have that in your wallet Plus, you're going to want to use some uh, or have a have the native token for the blockchain that you're going to go to as well in your wallet for gas fees. All right. So if you have never used a Web3 wallet, uh, your own personal wallet that's on you know your browser or anything like that, well, you're going to start to learn how to do that right now. OK, so but you're going to need to use. Let's say we're going to use Ethereum. We're going to be consistent here and use Ethereum. You're going to need ETH for gas fees for the transactions but you're also gonna to wanna to have some USDC in that wallet to be buying these cryptos. So if you're on, for example, Coinbase, make sure you send yourself over a bunch of USDC that you wanna plan on buying all your crypto with, and then also send yourself some Ethereum that you could pay for the gas fees while you're doing so. But first, before we could even do that, we need our wallet. We need to set up a wallet. And we're going to use Internet Money Wallet. If you use MetaMask or Rabi or anything like that, hey, you're good. You're already set up with that, right? But I'm doing this for the beginner that doesn't have one yet set up. Or maybe you want to use this wallet because it's actually pretty cool and really easy to use and compatible with Pulse Chain. So on this website here, this is the best way to do it. Never go directly to one of these app stores and just start searching for this wallet. You want to make sure that you come to this website and click on the link on this website. For example, I'm gonna get this for Chrome because I've got a Chrome browser set up right here. I'm gonna click on the Chrome web browser box right here. It's gonna open up the Chrome store. I'm gonna then click on where it says add to Chrome. I'm gonna add the extension and you'll see, well, you probably can't see my browser up here, but what I'm gonna do is make sure it's right here. I'm gonna make sure that I click on my extension selections in here like this and make sure I click on pin. So I pin it to my browser so it's easy to find. Then I'm going to go back and open up that wallet. And now I'm going to set up this wallet. Very easy to do. Make sure you got yourself a pen and piece of paper so you can write down the information that you need to write down. What we're going to do is select, put our little check mark in this little circle here, first of all, so that we acknowledge what we're doing, right? We're either going to create a new wallet or we're going to import a new or import a, an existing wallet. So if you already have an existing wallet that you want to import to Internet Money Wallet, well, you're going to click on import wallet and either import the private key or import your seed phrase. We're going to start off fresh and click new wallet. It opens up in a big browser here in a big page in, your, in a new or a new tab in your current browser. That is OK. We're going to click continue, continue. We're understanding all the basics here, right? You can read it on your own time. So we're going to click I understand and we are going to set up another password Then click continue. It's generating your seed phrase like this here. So just forget all these. these. These are supposed to be private. All right, I'm only kidding here. I'm not actually going to use these seed phrase. I'm not going to use these 24 words. 24 is more secure than 12 too. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to click on confirm. I understand what I'm doing here and everything, right? And I've copied them down. I know what they're going to be private. Keep your seed phrase and keep your private key. But keep these private, secure, hidden. Nobody can see it. Do not ever give this to anyone anybody no matter how much you like them okay don't give it to anybody this is private absolutely very 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 important 
Okay, now click on get started. You're inside the wallet. Now the, you can open it up in, the, in your little extension. It will be there. You can do it that way too, but it's opening up in a browser right now, which is pretty cool because I got a bigger picture I can show you now with things. So here we are and it opens up directly in the Pulse network because it's, it was built for Pulse chain guys. So this is pretty cool. So we've got the network right here. If you want to change your different networks, do you see where it's got this little Pulse PLS Pulse chain logo, logo right here? Click on it. It gives you other networks that you can choose from. They're already here. You don't have to add them. Okay. If you want to get over to, for example, Ethereum, just click on Ethereum. Click on yes, I want to switch the networks. And you see it switched to Ethereum just like that. Really cool. Okay. If you want to remove the networks, add new ones, you can just click these buttons, use it that way. Go where it says wallet, click on wallet. And you got all this other stuff down here. We can go over it in another video, right? But we want to add account, remove account hide balances. You're going to check your transaction history. It's all right here. And what we can do is we'll see add accounts. You can add more. I'll show you this for example right now. What I like to do, what I personally do is this. I've got this account number one set up just like you've seen that. You could see my seed phrase if you really want. It doesn't really matter because I don't use it. I don't put anything in this account just like this. It's a demo. Uh, it's a front door, whatever you want to call it, right? In fact, you can label it, you can change it. But what I do is I click on where it says add accounts and I add new ones, okay? For like this, you see, you can create a new one, you can import another account or you can connect a hardware wallet. I personally click hardware wallet and add treasure. So I use a treasure hardware wallet with whatever I'm doing. That way my private key and my seed phrase is in the treasure hardware wallet. So I connect just like that with the Trezor wallet. You can add as many as you want, right? But we're going to go and we're going to click on where it says account number one. I'm going to open this up. And right here at the top right hand corner, you see where it says, or it's got this little uh, wheel, right? It's a settings wheel. Just click on this. And then you could change where it says account one, change it to whatever you want, such as demo. And then click save changes. And you'll see it says demo. So I can change it and you could label your accounts, whatever you want, right? Now, inside here, you'll see it says buy, swap, change, uh, buy, you can buy crypto. So you can buy right in here if you want to do that. However, I don't really advise to because it's a lot more money. It's a lot more fees buying your crypto right here. But hey, if you're stuck and you just want to buy it here with your credit card, you can do so. All right. So we'll click back. You've got the, uh, the swap or the chain. We'll see change when you click on change what you're doing is your your swap if you got more than one account in your internet money wallet here you can change transfer within your accounts right in here okay go back if you have nfts they're going to be in here if you want to swap you can swap in here too now again i don't usually advise that to swap within your wallet because there's usually higher fees to do so when you're swapping within the wallet we'll go back and if you want to send somebody crypto you click on send if you want to receive crypto you're going to click on receive right here which is what we're going to do right now because we want to now receive our Ethereum and our USDC coins from, for example, Coinbase. So what we do is we just click on where it says receive and you'll see right here, this is a QR code. So if you're using your mobile and you want to scan the QR code, you can do that. Or you can copy this address like this, or you can just click on the word that says copy. This is the address that you're going to send because we're also on the Ethereum network still, remember? Right, so we're going to click copy. This is the address that you're going to send your Ethereum to as well as your USDC tokens to here. So let's say you want to buy a thousand bucks worth of crypto. You're going to make sure that you send a thousand dollars worth of or a thousand USDC coins to this address as well as sending a bit of Ethereum to this address so that you have that for gas fees. We'll then click the back arrow and go back here and you see this is the network that we're on is the Ethereum. That's why we're doing it that way. So now then once you've done that, you have your Ethereum in this wallet and then you also have your USDC in this wallet. You're all set to now go and buy some tokens on Pulse Chain, PLS, PLSX, Hex, whatever other tokens you want on there, right? Very easy now. Where we're going to do that? We're going to go over to the Liberty Finance or Liberty Swap Finance, which is this webpage right here, okay? 
So on this web page right here, you're going to then connect your wallet, the first thing that you're going to do. Okay, so you're going to go over in the top right hand corner, or you can use this button right here. But if you go over and you click on where it says connect wallet, you will see a selection of wallets that you can choose from. Now, if you're using the Coinbase wallet or the MetaMask or any other wallet that's in here, you just select it. But the internet money wallet is the first one right here. We're going to click and it brings up a little window like this, okay? Now, if you don't see this internet money one here because it was recently, I was recently using it. But if you don't see that right here, you just click on where it says view all and you'll see a select more selection of wallets that you can choose from. You could also search for it, right? But you'll see it's right here. It's got the dollar sign. It's got the internet right here. This is what it is. So you'll just click on it, connect, wallets connected successfully. Very easy, just like that. But you see, it's also opened up in this tab. We're going to go back over to Liberty Swap Finance and you will see that we are connected. Okay. See the, your wallet address is in here. It's connected right up at the top right hand corner. You can see that everything is set up, ready to go. If you go to your top right corner of your browser and you click on the little icon for the internet money wallet, you could do it that way and open up your extension. Because we were already right in the web page, I got to log on to the extension part right here, which just put in your password. Logged in and you'll see it's got this little window here that opens up. You know, click over here, go back, open up the extension. You'll see it's just like that, just like MetaMask or Rabi used to, you know, how they work the same way. It just opens up this way. Okay, so now that we're connected to Liberty Swap Finance, we're go and we have our USDC, we have our Ethereum in our wallet. We are then going to buy the tokens that we want on Pulse Chain. Using Liberty Swap Finance, this website, this swap, this cross chain swap is really cool. I really like this, uh, you know, this onboarding tool because it's going to onboard a lot of people. I really believe that. But this is a really great bridge to use. Okay. Number one, it's, it's simple. At number two, it's cheap. Number three, it's private. Okay. Number four, five, six, seven. There's a whole bunch of great reasons, but we're going to stick with those right now. We're going to choose the right here is the top. Right here, we're going to switch. We're going to swap from the top to the bottom. We are on Ethereum. We got USDC. So we're going to click right here and we are going to choose USDC on Ethereum, just like that. Now, this is what you go back. See, this is all you have to choose from right now. Okay, you got USDT, but that's on Binance Smart Chain. We're going to click, I keep with our USDC on Ethereum, just like this. And just to show you how cheap this is, well, first we'll keep it on uh, USDC, okay, before we select Pulse or anything like that. And look down here, right here, the rate, okay, one to one, because it's USDC to USDC. The time is about two to three minutes to take, to, 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 to go across a chain, across the bridge and into your tokens, okay? And the cost, the fee is, 0.3%, not 3%, not 1%, 0.3%. That is super cheap, you guys. You don't see that on a bridge. You don't see that somewhere. You barely see that just swapping or sending or, yeah, it is super cheap to send or to cross chain swap, right? Look at this. I, I get a, you don't understand how cheap that is? A hundred dollars, a hundred USDC into USDC and pulse chain. That's 99 dollars and 70 cents that means it's 30 cents to send it across the bridge into your wallet on pulse chain unbelievable ridiculously cheap and fast and simple to use now because we've connected our wallet to this protocol liberty swap to make the swap we put in a hundred we're going to get there 99.7 we connected our wallet this address automatically appears your destination address is right here. Okay. That's where it's going. It's your same address. That's your address in the internet money wallet. All right. Because you connected it. So it's right here. Very simple. Then all you got to do is click swap. And in a couple of minutes, you will have your $99.70 worth of USDC in your wallet. Just like that on the Pulse Chain Network. Now, here is one of the super cool features with this is maybe you want it to go to a different address. In other words, you want to take advantage of the privacy feature here and send it to another address that's not, you know, known by anything. All right. It's disconnected. It, the line's cut off, right? What you do is you just click on this X and you add 
another address in here. Maybe you want to send some PLS to your mom. Maybe you want to send it to your buddy. Maybe you just want to send it to your other address, like I'm saying, and keep things private. It's very easy to do. You paste that address right here, okay? Or you go back and you keep your current address just like that. Now, if we want to be buying a whole bunch of these different coins, these different tokens on Pulse Chain, you can start off, of course, with the USDC. If you want to have some stable coins over there, for sure, you can do that, right? But really, the first token, the first one that you should be getting is going to be right here. We're going to be selecting PLS. Okay, why? Well, because if we're on that blockchain, we're on that network, we're going to need PLS for gas fees. Just like on Ethereum, you need ETH for gas fees. On Pulse Chain, you need PLS for gas fees. Plus, we're here because we want to start stacking PLS, right? Okay, so start stacking some PLS right here. 100 bucks is going to give you 2.274 approximately, 2.2 plus million to our PLS tokens, just like that. And then once you've done that, you can go over and you can select, maybe you want some PLSX, all right? Buy some PLSX. After you do that, maybe you want to buy some HEX. Buy some HEX, just like that. After you do that, maybe you want some ink. Buy some ink tokens. Just open this up and start selecting which ones you want. Which, which of these core tokens do you want, right? Maybe you want some P die, just like that. It's easy to get, okay? So Liberty Swap Finance. This is really, really simple to use. Really cheap to use. Really fast. I really like Liberty Swap Finance, and I know you're going to really like this too. So that's it. That's how you get, that's how you come over here and you start buying these tokens on Pulse Chain, just like that. Well, what about all those other ones? What about all those other mean coins or anything else that's on Pulse Chain that, that's not selected here? Well, first thing, bridge over your PLS, bridge over some USDC if you want to do it that way too, but make sure you have your PLS over there and so that you can go over to the Pulse Chain and start buying whatever you want to buy, right? Well, once you've done that, then you can go and you can head over to PulseCoinList.com or PulseX or any of the DEXs over there that you know about that you already currently know that you could use or like this rank coin ranking site or uh, PulseCoinList.com. Come down here, start scrolling through and taking a look at all the different cryptos on this chain that you can start buying it. You can start holding these tokens, right? Very easy. You come over here and you just start, uh, let's see here, I'll show you by example. Well, just we'll just click on like, here you go, Atropa, for example. I'll just click on this one. You, you click on it and you can see it's going to open up. It's going to open up this chart. It's going to show you where it's at. You're going to show you another a swapping box right here that you connect your wallet. Just like we connected, you know how to connect your wallet now. So you connect your wallet and you can start buying these tokens just like that. Really simple to do, you guys. All right, so if you found value in this, if you found this helpful at all, let me know. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below and let me know if you found this valuable at all, it helped you. If you're not yet subscribed, click subscribe, subscribe as well, do that too. And I'll see you in the next video. I got some more right over here, another playlist that you'll probably find you know, helpful too. Find some value over here. I'll be there. Uh, in the meantime, see you there. Bye for now.